Hello, hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Can you listen to me? Good evening, teacher. Hey, how's, how's it going, Daniel? You ready bye, for? Bye. Did you I'm watch ready. the? Nice, nice to hear that. Did you watch the soccer match? <laughs> uh, I, I, I see the soccer match and listen, listen the class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Oh, got you. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, is, uh, uh, no merecían empatar, merecían ganar. <laughs> okay. okay. Deserve. Okay, Merecer is deserve. Deserve so, wins the game. Exactly. So they deserve <laughs> the first dessert. Okay. Um, so yeah, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm going to watch the highlight uh, on the weekend to see how it went. I didn't have time to see it yesterday, as you as you know, we're in classes. So the verb is deserve, which means merecer, right? Deserve. Okay, um, guys, welcome. It's Friday. It's Friday, and well, uh the weekend is, I mean, it's around the corner. Actually, it's tomorrow. <laughs> okay, uh, so let me start by checking the attendance, being this the first step that we usually do. I do appreciate your punctuality. I know um, sometimes we, you have a lot of things to do at work or maybe um, other things, you know, personal things. But then you guys here, you are on time, you are connected. That is so essential for us, okay? So let's see, we're going to continue to talk about uh, what we decided to talk yesterday. And this is about simple past, okay? And we have two type of uh, simple past. We have the verb to be, and we have the, the simple past with the deed auxiliary, okay? But before we start talking about that topic, we are going to start with the attendance, okay? So number one on the list is Narciso. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Narciso. Okay, I really hope you had a great day, Narciso. No, number two, this is Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Cristina. Number three, uh, Mr. Luna. I'm here, teacher. Good, okay. So today is September the 3rd. This is just incredible, you know? Time really, really flies. I'm just like amazed with this. Um, if we were in like regular conditions, uh, the Independence Day is basically like in two weeks or less, you know? Going to see the parade, the cheerleaders, the bands, but now we're just, nothing of this is going to happen, I think. So uh, next one is Elsie Guadalupe, Miss uh, Ceron, no, not connected. Okay, uh, let's see, Miss Ceron is not here. Okay, next one, Gabriela. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Gabriela. Harrison. Present. Thank you, Harrison. Uh, next one, Jose Miguel. It's not connected. Ruben. Present teacher. Hey, Ruben, I saw you at the stadium yesterday. I saw a video. You were there, right? Taking picture with Nayik Bukele. Nayik. <laughs> oh, I saw you. Come on. <laughs> That's why you were not in class, right? Huh, got you. Ya lo, ya lo, ya lo descubrimos. <laughs> Okay, um, so let's see. Next one, JC. How was the soccer match at the stadium, JC? <laughs> I'm here, teacher. Um, I'm good, teacher. <laughs> okay, I see, I see. Okay, Sorry for that. Okay, all right, no problem. I, I, I think I guessed. <laughs> okay, um, Linda, Present next teacher. one. Thank you so much, Linda. Next one, Maria Idalia. I am here. Thank you. Maria Julia. Maria Julia. Not connected. Okay. Uh, Marlene Nicole. Miss uh, Rivera. Present. Thank Present. you. Uh, Marvin. No. Okay. Norma. Present. Present. Thank you so much, Norma. Rafa. Is Rafa connected? I don't see Rafa. Rafa. No, he's not. 
Okay. Next one, Raquel Judith. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Vasquez. Uh, next one, this is Ray. I think is absent. Xiomara. Xiomara is not here either. And Judy. Judy. I don't think she is connected, okay? So let me just go ahead and update this. And thank you so much, guys, once again, for being connected on time. We are going to start with, with yesterday's topic, okay? But I want to make um, a very short parenthesis to talk about the listening. I know you guys did it this time. I can perceive that you did it. Did you guys complete the listening? We'll use the reactions, please, with um, this time I want you to use the heart like this if you did it, okay? Can you use the reactions? All right, Christina, there you go. That's the attitude. Hmm. Marlene did it as well. How about the other ones? Did you complete the listening? Okay, JC, you did it, okay, good. What about the other ones? Not yet, maybe. Okay, so listen, we are going to discuss a little bit about this listening, and this is because there's a lot of vocabulary that I, that I think is very useful. So um, who would like to start talking about the listening? How was the experience with the listening this time? How, how was the experience mm -hmm. with the listening? I'm writing this listening section this time, okay? Any volunteer? I just send that question in the chat in case you want to read it. How was the experience? Let's try to introduce the, uh, the verb to be. How was it? It's about uh, a daughter talking with, with her dad, and she's talking, do you love me, and blah, 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 blah. But, um, buy me a phone, and yeah. Okay. And, and, and the father say, uh, it's a lot of money. <laughs> hmm. Exactly. Because it's a lot of money because uh, the time for contract the cell phone is six months. If you can sell uh, after, uh, they, they pay $200. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, no, no, okay. The father say, no, no, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can see you listen to it. That's good. Exactly. Let's see. Was the cell phone free or was it? Um, I mean, how much did the cell phone cost? Who remembers this? Mm, I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember? Okay, was it free or was just... But, the, but, but the company say free. Okay, <laughs> yes, I agree with that. But, but not, 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 not free. Yes, Linda? I think that uh, the cost it was two hundred dollars. Well, two hundred bucks. Bucks. Two hundred bucks. Two hundred dollars. It's, oh. it's the, the council. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, that's the okay. council that I remember. Exactly. To cancel the agreement is is that money. Uh -huh. But then but how, uh -huh. it is fifty mile in the offer. Mm -hmm. Fifty dollars. Uh -huh. Okay. Um. Let's see. What else do you guys remember? Mm -hmm. So Marlene is saying that it's fifty dollars, but then, but the conversation says it's a free phone. So is it a free phone at the end, or something is you know in there that we haven't identified yet? What's the catch here? Hmm, okay, 
Uh, is there something that we haven't uh, said uh, that we haven't said yet? And this is uh, mailed in rebate. Do you know what that is? Do you have any idea what mail in rebate rebate mean? What's a rebate? Is is bueno. Yo lo investigué era como un reembolso uh -huh. por correo. Uh -huh. Exactly. Exactly. Um, this is the thing. And well, whenever you get a phone under this promotion, you pay for the phone at the moment you get it, but then you have the chance to get the money back. How? Okay, you have to fill out a form and then you send it to the company uh, where you purchase this phone from, and then they will send you, they will give you the money back within a certain time. So that's mailing rebate. I remember that I used to work for at and and they used to have this promotion in which the customer needed to fill out one form so they can get the money back. It's como que tenían que pagan, pero después le dan la opción de llenar un formulario que lo mandan al, a la empresa y luego la empresa le hace el reembolso de dinero que pagaron. Es como un, como que you get the phone, you pay it, para que te demos el dinero de regreso, lo tienes por un cierto tiempo y luego este, nos te damos el dinero de tu dispositivo, te lo, te lo devolvemos. Something like that. So that's the mailing rebate. Um, and then, um, what else did you remember? Any other vocabulary or, or phrase or expression you remember from this um, dialogue? Any other guys that you want to share with the class? Alguna otra expresión que hayan encontrado? Or question or phrase that you, or word that you want to share? Everything was easy, nothing new. Todo tenían cooked, cocinado, yeah, no new expressions. How much did you get from Phi? How many correct and how many incorrect? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Three or five. Three or five. <laughs> Three out of five. five okay. Of five. Oh, you see, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Who else wants to share the experience? Mm -hmm. Nobody else? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, make sure to listen to this conversation. Se van a dar cuenta de que ese plan del que están hablando es un plan um, not up to date. It's like obsolete, está obsoleto. Porque that plan is like uh, for those uh, people in the past, because now uh, we don't have, I mean, not even this company offers this type of plans. Now everything is unlimited. They have uh, WhatsApp, Facebook, social, you know, network. And so this plan is old fashioned. That's why it says rollover minutes. Los rollover minutes, rollover. Esa, me gusta esta frase, rollover. Por el rollover um, is when you accumulate service or or minute or data, and that's rollover next uh, month. No se pierde, se pasa el siguiente mes. Ahí lo menciono. Um, what else? There are other expressions. Y siempre les voy a re recomendar. Uh, que vayan tomando nota, right? Vocabulary, translation, and all that. Um, what is a feature? Ya aparecían features, ¿se recuerdan? Oh, fees, this, Rafa, yes, fees, for example. Fees, like if you don't pay on time or if you break a contract, yes, you get charged, se le, se le cargan fees. Okay, nice. What others do you remember? ¿Qué otras se recuerdan? Is teenagers? Oh, teenagers. Yeah, teenagers. Like oh, the, teenagers. La, the like the daughter. She's a teenager, mm -hmm. right? Like you, Marlene. You're a teenager. Then term. Oh, and you're not. I'm so sorry. Um, can you send it on the chat, please? I would appreciate okay. it. Okay. 
And what about the other ones? Nationwide, exactly. Nationwide, Narciso, it means that it, it is all over the United States, right? Nationwide from, from the 50, 50 states, exactly. What else? Any other that you want to add? ¿Qué más vieron en el, en el, en la conversation? Term, yes, like that would be the period of time, the term, right? Or it can be terms and conditions, for example. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? I'm going to give you one minute. Quiero que todos digiten al menos una o dos de las que escucharon, okay? Go. Okay, time is up. I, I have catch agreement and that's it. No demás, no me compartieron nada. Hmm, okay. Uh, rebate, uh -huh. catch, roll over. Muy bien, Narciso. Thank you so much. That's what I'm talking about. Si no sabía que es un rebate, si no sabía que es un roll over, si no sabía que es un catch in this scenario, now you know it. That's the point. Okay. So, uh, so thank you so much, guys. And los que no lo hicieron, pues, um, please do it. Excuse me, teacher. Uh huh. Could you explain what does lemon mean? Ah, in this scenario. And the thing is that um, this is very common. In it's an idiomatic expression, Italia. Like uh, lemon can refer to something that is very old fashioned or something really old because lemon is just a vegetable, it's like a limon. <laughs> but then in this scenario, it does not mean literally, no, it's literal. It's just an idiomatic expression to say that this is not something that I'm pleased with. For example, lemon can be a very old device. It can be something obsolete. In this scenario, it, the lady is talking about the car. Is comparing the car with the lemon, referring that the car is very old. So in other words, if you compare something with a lemon, it's because uh, you are not satisfied with this, you are not happy with the thing, you are um, what? Um, you want something better, you are basically uh, uh, what? Are not pleased? I mean, so lemon may have different meanings. In this scenario, not literally. No va a ser literal, okay? Uh, because if you translate it, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> but if you start <laughs> thinking, oh yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense because, uh, you know, that car is not the best according to what she said, okay, in this scenario, okay? Mm -hmm. um, so but lemon refers to many things, things that you're not happy with, old things, old fashioned things, okay? Um, mm -hmm. That was basically the context in this scenario. Teacher, uh -huh. when it is you say call someone up? Call, some, call someone up, you just call. For example, Marlene, call me up later on. Call me up. Oh. I'm going to call you up. So um, this is called, this is a phrasal verb. Son perífrasis verbales que van con un main verb y uh, llevan una particle que es call up. In reality, it means only uh, it, it only means uh, call, but the thing is that American people they tend to use a lot of these phrases. They they love using uh, phrasal verbs. Y la verdad se escuchan bastantes. Uh, el call up puede ser un phrasal verb. Son per phrasal verbs. Voy a mandar el término. There are a lot of phrasal verbs. Yo un diccionario me compré por ahí lo tengo. Solo the phrasal verbs. Well, a dictionary like this thick, like this, and it's a lot of phrases. Of course, uh, you have to have the most used or the top used, ¿verdad? 
the ones that are used the most because there are many, but some of them are not even, you know, popular. So phrasal verbs, this is one. Uh, Christina, please call Marlene up tomorrow. So that's basically, I'm just saying, call, call Marlene. But it's a way to say it, okay? Okay. Uh, I don't know if you have any additional comments or questions about this. No, okay. Uh, let's talk about something I want to... Um, retake from yesterday's class. Hold on, I think I'm about to start sharing. Oops, can you see the screen? No, I don't think you can see it. Guys, can you see the screen? No yet. No yet, no okay. teacher. All right, and now it's mm -hmm. loading, no, okay. Give me a second. I think it's just um, opening. Okay, while it uh, it is uh, displayed, I want to ask you, what did we say about the use of break to be yesterday in the past? Who can give me an example? Was and where? How can we use it? Let me see. How can we use the past of the bird to be um, when it doesn't mean, um, when it doesn't refer to actions? Who remembers that? Maybe this is easy. Maybe this is uh, not that easy, but I want to hear. So give me an example. I was in the beach yesterday. Okay, I was um, at the beach yesterday. Okay, thank you so much. Um, the reason that I brought this, and Marlene, can you see the screen or not? Yes. yes. Okay. The reason that I brought this chart is because yesterday we had this confusion, I think, in which some of you were using was and where, but then you were adding an action. And then we are not studying that topic yet. We are just talking about the past of verb to be. Ayer alguien agregaban el, el verbo to be, pero le ponían una acción y concluíamos que no le ponemos una acción porque no estamos hablando de pasado continuo, estamos hablando de nada más el verbo to be en pasado. Ok, that's a different. Si yo quiero decir yo estaba jugando pelota, then I say I was playing soccer, but then uh, it's a different topic. Eso es pasado continuo. However, this time we are just talking about verb to be in the past. Así que he traído um, five possible complements, okay, to talk about where to be in the past, only the where to be. For example, number one is place. Así que pensemos en ejemplos, guys. Quiero que todos participen. Me mandan una oración donde usen el verbo to be en pasado con, con un lugar. For example, Michael Jackson was at school in 1960, okay at school, was at school. So give me places where uh, somebody or you were in the past using bird to be. So on the chat, please. Quiero leer 16 ejemplos, 16 conectados. I know it's easy, but it's good to share if you already know this. I got the first one. That's one and two. Great. My brother was at the was at the stadium. At the stadium. I was born in Chalatenango City. Good. I have two. What else? I need to read 14 more examples. I was on, I was at home, we say. Daniel, I was at home last night. I was in this town. Uh, Hi, JC, you're being very honest. <laughs> I saw you on a picture shouting, you know, to the referee. 
<laughs> I saw you. <laughs> okay, my parents were at the church yesterday. Exactly. I was at the beach. We say at the beach because at is general. Uh, so we say at the beach. Uh, oh, good. Okay, what else? Other examples. I think that I, I'm missing some of you guys. What am, I was in the Hadrowen. Mm -hmm. I don't know in which class you were, but I like the example. I was in the class yesterday, okay? Uh, what else? Exactly. So we're talking about places, right? Play I was in the job yesterday. No, okay. I was um, in the job. I was at work, okay. I was in Cartagena. You see? Yeah, okay, nice. Take us next time. Okay, good. So those are places, and we're talking about the past two, 20 years ago. I was young. <laughs> How old are you now, Marvin? <laughs> exactly. Ya Marvin se nos adelantó en otra categoría de adjectives con adjetivos. Okay, y de eso estamos hablando. Pensemos con adjective. Ya tenemos ya que Marvin nos mandó uno. Adjective describe, ¿verdad? Aquí tenemos shooter, that John Leno and Paul McCartney were shooter when they were, blah, 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 okay? Marvin nos mandó uno que dice, uh, 20 years ago I was John, joven, that's the adjective, short, that's the adjective. Give me more adjectives, guys, using the verb to be. Use other subjects, using otros subjects, que no sea solamente el I. You can use other people group of people, et cetera, et cetera. So adjectives, please, with verb to be in the past. El primero de place nos quedó bien. Ahora pensamos en adjectives. And give me examples, please. I was at the party, but yeah, that's place. My boss was in Guatemala, that's a place, okay? Now, what about adjectives? They were very happy, yeah, that's adjective, good. We were at my house, house last night, yes, that's place, Raquel, that's place, okay? What about adjectives? I read once this mata niños joke, mata niños, mata amigos, o pierde amigos joke, un chiste pierde, pierde amigos, que si, the teacher says, said, um, okay, okay, students, if I say I am beautiful, what tense is that? And all of a sudden, one uh, student said, teacher, that must be the past. ¿Quién no entendió? <laughs> As a ver, <laughs> you got it, no? Hi, uh, hi, teacher. Hey, how's it going, Ray? I'm here. Nice, nice. I thought you were not going to make it, but you are there. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. más risa su risa, teacher. Hey, no sé nada. Hey, hey. Vaya, qué, qué. ¿Quién repeat, me traduce? Please, repeat, please. ¿Quién me traduce lo que dije? Ahí le voy a creer. Repeat, please. <ríe> es que es un, es, es un pierde de amigo. Es que le dice, um, the teacher said, so my dear students, if I say I am beautiful, what tense is that? And then a student raised his hand and said, teacher, that must be the past. Eso fue hace años. Ajá, exactamente. <risa> es que como la, la oración. Es que dice, no, es que le dice, este, si yo digo que allá. Si estaba, si es... sí. Ajá, dígalo, Marlene. Ahora, dígalo. No, está bien, me, me gusta que. 
Es que la teacher estaba explicando los tiempos y tense, los tense. Entonces les digo, si yo digo I am beautiful, what tense, ¿qué tiempo es esto? ¿Qué tiempo gramatical se refería a ello? I am beautiful, what tense is this? Y alguien lo agarró literal, le dijo, no, eso es el pasado, señor, porque usted está fea. <risa> <risa> okay. yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah, so that's, that's what it is. Okay, but now we're talking about the past. And then, um, let's see, I got many examples. That's good. That's what I'm talking about. My brother, oh, my brother and me were more thin a few years ago. Okay. Uh, two observations here, JC. My brother and I, porque es más común, and I were thinner, el comparativo de thin es thinner, no le ponemos more, porque el more es para los long adjectives, para los comparatives. Uh, la siguiente, they were very excited yesterday in the city. <laughs> yeah, so, so we can say JC and um, JC and Ruben were very, like, very excited at the, at the series yesterday. I don't know. I'm just, that's making things up. Um, my yeah. sister was not lazy to do homework at school. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, Robert and Rose were married four years ago. Okay, makes sense. Not, not that common, but yeah, makes sense. Uh, they were good football ballers. Okay. Douglas was sad when he lost his cell phone, cell iPhone, okay? I can see, yeah. We have these adjectives. And how about origins? We have origin when it refers to countries, more, more likely to be about countries. So look at this example. Elvis Presley was from USA. So talk about the past with origin or countries. Give me examples, open your mic, please. Open your mic and talk. I was, I was from El Salvador. San Salvador. <laughs> okay. So you can say I was from San Salvador originally. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But now you don't you don't live in San Salvador, right? You moved. Yes, I live I live in San Salvador. Oh, you live there. Okay. Yes, I I have um 36 years or live in the same in the same neighborhood, okay. neighborhood. 36 yeah. years living yeah. in the same neighborhood okay mm -hmm. okay that's good that's really good so it's been a while i can see okay my best friend is from spain that one is that is um that, that's present okay okay now you you made it uh my best friend was from spain so when you refer to this, um, mm -hmm. quise poner was, pero como automático puse is. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I can see, I can see the correction. So other examples, guys, give me origin examples with birth to be in the past. Now let's not talk about countries, let's talk about nationality. In a way, very similar, but now we're not going to say the country. We are going to say the, the nationality, for example. Instead of saying El Salvador, we're going to say Salvadoran, right? So let's think about nationalities, okay? And give me examples with her to be in the past. I was by Narciso. Ese, I was play soccer. Ese lo que vamos a, vamos a este, eh, vamos a practicarlo en otra sesión, ¿verdad? Eh, porque estamos buscando uh, el verbo to be más una de estas cosas. Place, adjective, origin, and nationality. Si le ponemos play, ahí ya no estaríamos siguiendo la, la estructura porque hemos dicho que el play, el play es una acción, es un verbo y no podría ir en ese escenario. Okay, let's, let's think about places, adjectives, origins, nationality, and even professions now, or occupations. Eso es lo que vamos buscando, ¿no? Eso porque I was play no traduciría bien. En, uh -huh. A menos que lo usáramos con I was playing, pero si ya sería yo estaba jugando, past continuous. Acordémonos que el verbo to be exige que el verbo que continúa, si es un verbo, vaya en ing. Mandatory. Eso es mandatory. 
Okay, let's see more examples. Let's finish this activity with uh, professions, guys, or occupations. Think about you maybe five years ago or more years ago. Like for example, um, five years ago I huh? was a I was a driver. Mm -hmm. You see. I was a driver. I was. I wanted to say, um, like, like in my case, let me see, like fifteen years ago, I was a high school student. I was a high high school student. Um, he was a lawyer. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. ten, ten years. Ten years ago, I am. A, I was a accountant. <laughs> Yeah, is that true? Yeah. You were an accountant? Yes, <laughs> it's my it's but, but my profession is business administration. Mm. My profession. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You must but, be yeah. Uh, and but you but, mm -hmm. so, sorry, but but for the age, no in in, in this in, in this position, uh, me people no more thirty five years old. Oh, do you think? Uh, but if you kept uh, updating yourself, if, if you kept learning about your profession, you know, things does not change much. You never know, right? Maybe, maybe, then you, I will see it this way. You already have some manera. So it's been a while, but then you have a lot of experience you can bring to the table. You see? Yeah. <laughs> Ok, um, algunos no han mandado sus ejemplos, mandan sus ejemplos. Send your examples, please. Um, veo ahí poquitos ejemplos. Come on, send your examples with the nationality or professions. Selena, Selena was a singer. Selena Quintanilla, she's not. All for Selena. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, I started to see that this series of Selena only the first part. I don't know if they they um they uh, finish the second. I mean the the missing chapters. Who who saw it on Netflix? Selena Quintanilla, no. Oh, me not like it. I <laughs> only see I, I only see a movie and uh, with uh, starring J Lo and no more. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I see. <laughs> the J Lo. Nice. Um, yeah, everybody likes and dislikes preferences. I saw somebody saying I was happy. We was happy. Uh be careful with that, Rafa. We don't say we was happy. We say we were happy because it's we were. My mom was a secretary when I was a kid. Okay. I like that cred. I like that example because you are thinking like. I know, giving me more input, more ideas. That's good. The Beatles were, were a group of music, a rock music. Okay, you know, the season. that's what I'm talking about. The child was in the garden. Good. Okay, good. We have these examples. And then, Narciso, that's one example. That's exactly what I wanted. And thank you so much for, for uh, writing it on the chat. Okay, um, so this is what I wanted to specify or point out today in regards to verb to be in the past. So remember, we have verb to be in the past with places, adjectives, origins, nationalities, and professions. Of course, this is uh, you know one idea for us to have clearer, but then it must claro how to use this tense. Okay, not necessarily a verb. Cuando veamos el past continuo, ahí vamos a ponerle verbos, ¿ok? Pero like, like as of now, solo significa el, el pasado de ser o estar, pero en pasado. El, del, el pasado, sí, el pasado de ser o estar, que ahí se va a conjugar de acuerdo al subject. I was, puede ser yo estaba, o yo fui, o yo era, no sé, todo, everything in the past, depende el escenario. Um, I was happy, yo estaba feliz. I was at home, yo estaba en la casa. Uh -huh. uh, you were at home, tú estabas en la casa. You were happy, tú estabas feliz. So it depends, right, uh, in the past. So questions before I move on, any questions or any other idea? ¿Alguna pregunta?
Okay. All right. I'm thinking that is a no. Uh, let's see uh, what else do we have here on the chat. Um, the Titanic was from Liverpool. Okay. We were happy, Uncle. Where no es ese Rafa is where without the H, without the H, it's just that we were. Okay, um, so let's now continue with uh, our topic. Today we are going to keep talking about the same, but then we are going to add something else. Uh, and this time we are going to move on with the negatives. Yesterday we finished, todos compartimos esta parte, guys. La terminaron las, las, uh, these six sentences. O alguien tiene alguna pregunta de las six sentences que quedaron. No las terminaron. Okay, entonces, uh, let's finish them, please. Let's finish them. Creo que no faltaron la, de la cuatro, ah, no, las cinco y las seis creo que faltaron. Porque recuerdo haber estado discutiendo el uso del, del, del read and read, pero no de los otros. So let's finish it. I'm going to give you two minutes and then we share, please. your answers on the chat that can be great so everybody sees what you do so please uh, do it on the chat last i think it's the last three four five and six on like no hicieron falta let's share only those one compartamos solo esas Hoy vine. ¿A dónde vine? <laughs> ok. ¿A dónde vino? Hoy vine. <laughs> I came. <laughs> Where you came? Uh -huh. What happened? <laughs> ok. Okay, let's, when you have the answers, start sharing, please, on the chat. Awesome, we have some, some examples here. Let's see, give me a second. Okay, this is uh, the supervisor gave me a big discount. They sent the 
uh, contract to my email. I like it, even though you didn't use uh, me, but then it makes sense. Linda, you are just missing the last one. And if you can include me, it'll be great. Okay. Okay, I need to read it, all your examples. Yeah, oh, they sent me the contract. Okay, good. Now I get it, now I get it. So basically we have number five and number four, right? Oh, you have the last one, which is he was disappointed internet service mm, something is missing there something is missing here okay so i thank you so much oh this is narciso the supervisor had me a discount oh but you want to use gave me narciso and then the super they send the con the contact my mm, something is missing. They send me sent me with a T, and he was disappointed. Something is missing. I in la ultima in Narciso. Disappointed okay. means I had disappointed, decepcionado. Oh, not a problem. Okay, you can double check it and then send it back. Guys, I'm still waiting for the other ones to send sentences. So when you have them, please share them. I want to check them. This is a great uh, topic and I think it's very easy to understand if we really pay attention to it. Okay. So I'll give you one more minute. If you don't want to... Um, Write it, uh, open your mic and read them, please. Levante la mano para participar y lea su ejemplo. Así sería mucho más rápido también. Últimos tres. Number six, teacher, he was be disappointed. No. He, he was, I'm sorry? He was be disappointed. He was be disappointed? Yes. Mm, no, no, this is early. No. Uh, what do you want to say? Mm, he be, he be disappointed. Hmm, no, be, be is mandatory. Be must be there. But it'll be as it was. And, Linda acaba de mandar un ejemplo. Eh, recomiendo, Linda, buscar una preposición que conecte la idea. He was disappointed. Y falta, en vez de la comita, una preposición. Y, because. Ajá. Because. Because, ok. Because it's an option. Um, he was disappointed. We can say about, and then you add the idea, or because his boss fired him. Me gusta because, porque también makes sense. Así que podemos agregar eso. Mete la comita para conectar la idea, Lynn. Okay. Give me more examples, more ideas. Okay, what other ideas do you have, guys? Other ideas? Open your mic. Abran el micrófono y participemos, please. Pero. 
Okay, uh, he was disappointed. Norma, he was disappointed. My homework. And to say, pongamole, he was disappointed about my homework. Ajá, como que él estaba decepcionado sobre mi trabajo o por mi o por mi tarea Ajá. o así pero faltaría la conexión porque disappointed es un adjetivo sí alguien más tiene otro ejemplo que le quiere quiere Quiero compartirlo, guys, about this. ¿Cómo les ha quedado? Pueden agregar sus propias ideas. You can still add your ideas and make it like personalized. Okay. Um let me stop sharing. What ideas do you have, guys? No sé si es porque está muy fácil y este no me quieren compartir los ejemplos. Uh, o tienen preguntas de cómo formular la, la estructura cómo formular la estructura de ese disappointed es un adjetivo des, decepcionado disappointed y podemos unir la idea con una preposición por ejemplo about um, que es la más that is the most common Marlene what do you think Marlene any, any other example Teacher. Uh -huh. um, okay. He was disappointed because his friend did, didn't come. Yes. Correct. I like it. Cristina, do you want to say some anything? No? Oh, okay. They were disappointed because they didn't win the match. Okay, Americans were disappointed because they didn't win the match. Or Salvadorans. <laughs> okay, we were disappointed about the referee, <laughs> right? We were very disappointed. Okay, well, I think you don't want to send me the examples. I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay, um, let's talk about, let's move on on this topic. So you don't, um, I mean, so you can practice. I need volunteers to read the next conversation. Okay, we have this new conversation and we've talked about customer service and um, before we start reading this um vaya apagamos los mics si no estamos si no estamos participando ya van a participar con mucho gusto okay uh, you can open your mic now um i need volunteers raise your hands si usted puede levantar su mano para participar awesome please o, si no abre el micrófono y ojalá que haya uno solo participando para que there's not like over talking or talking over somebody else. So let's talk about this a little bit. Brainstorm about the instructions that most of the times you give. Okay. Uh, did you ever forget about one of them or who do you give instructions, guys? Do you give instructions to somebody at work? What do you, what do you say? Any instructions that that you give at work?
brain ideas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ideas, ideas for um, any like instructions that you give at work. Or you don't give instructions, you rather not give instructions, you just, um, or you receive instructions. So what's when, your role? When in my work, when I receive visits, visits mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, uh, clients or con contractors, mm -hmm. uh, I say, we, I say, where is the place to inspect the car before enter to the ramp? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, okay. I say parking that way, then that place, and, and waiting for the inspect, inspection. Okay, nice. I, I see you saying that. And do you say or do you give them in English, Daniel? Just curiosity. No. No, 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 I mean, okay. in English, not only in Spanish, where okay. I where I talk with my boss or my supervisor, yes, talking in, in, in English. Oh, that's good. Did you hear that? Okay, uh, anybody else who would like to share any experience at work? Nope. Okay, let's practice this conversation. Uh, we have Luz and, and Eva or Eva. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our products? Can you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't too easy. It wasn't so easy. But I called another agent I can. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me, okay? So that's how it goes. I want to know if you have questions about meaning or pronunciation, please, about this conversation. Pronunciation or meaning, or is it clear? Any, anything that you want to ask? Clear questions, pronunciation. No, okay. So volunteers for reading this conversation. I need two people. Please raise your hand to participate. Me, me, okay, thank you so much. I heard two voices, go ahead. Me. I, I think it was Idalia and Linda or not? No, yo. No, yo, Cristina. Yes. <laughs> okay, Cristina, go. Uh, I am loose. Okay. Can you tell me more about your experience? Um, it was so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent name? Um, no, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He was kind, wasn't kind. My apology for that. And um, what about you, bro? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so, it wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Good. Yep. Great. 
Thank you so much, uh, ladies or girls, for this, this participation. I like the pronunciation. I like how it went. And so a round of applause, a spiritual applause for you. I would like to know if we have any other pair of volunteers to share. Anybody? You, you heard it already like twice. Now you want to try. It's your time, OK? Norma, thank you so much. Anybody else? Me, teacher. OK, uh, go ahead, Linda and Norma. OK, Norma. Hi, Linda. I'm Luz. OK. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send me a, rec a receipt for wha what, I bought, what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you could, could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. so much for that participation really clear to my ears nice nice experience nice uh, pronunciation thank you linda and thank you norma for your participation guys um if you don't have questions i just want you to focus on these negative contractions we have here so first one is wasn't wasn't didn't 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 it didn't, it didn't. I hear people saying it didn't, 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 wasn't. So, and didn't apply for all the subjects. I, you, he, she, it, with they. But then wasn't only applies for I, he, she, it. And then we need weren't, which is the other one, weren't, weren't, like we're not. So all of these ones are negative, okay? And negative, of bird to be or negative or simple past or of simple past. Okay, and then now let me see. Let's scroll up a little bit, please. Hey, it's time for me to check the attendance. Give me a second, please. One second. Give me one second, guys. Um, hmm. Let's see number one on the list. This is Narciso. How's it going, Narciso? You listen to me? Present teacher. Thank you so much, Narciso. Number two, give me a second. Number two, this is Christina. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you, Elsie. Didn't make it. Gabriela. Present. Thank you, Herson. No. Present. He's, he's there. Good. Jace. Oh, uh, Jose Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Ruben. Present teacher. Thank you. JC. Present. Thank you. Linda. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Idalia. I'm here. Thank you. Maria Julia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Mary Julie. And Marlene Nicole. Present. Thank you. Uh, Marvin. Marvin. Thank you, Marvin. Norma. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafa. I'm here, teacher. Good. Ray. Ray is here. Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Thank you, Xiomara. Xiomara. Judy. Judy. Is Judy here? No, she. I don't think she is. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for your participation, guys, and thank you for confirming the attendance. Let's now work on the next activity. And uh, so we have here, just read the conversation again and write activities that happen and the ones 
the ones that didn't happen. So let's just, let's change a little bit this. Cambiemos un poquito esta. Um, let's uh, write about activities that you, that you did. Fíjense que me escucho. No sé si el micrófono está abierto. No? Okay. Alguien no tiene un speaker y el micrófono es open. Right, it's, it's doing echo. Okay, so let's do something. Let's change a little bit this activity. Um, let's talk about you. Talk about activities you did today and talk about activities you didn't, didn't do today. Okay, hágame, ya terminamos el día o pensemos en, en la mañana o ayer. Okay, things you did and things you didn't do. Okay, veamos. Today, today is Friday. So we have one, two, three, four, like five activities you did and five activities you didn't do today. Let's take four minutes and go ahead and start doing this, please. Do you have questions? Tienen preguntas de lo que vamos a hacer? No? Talk about you, about your day. You did and you didn't do. Please. Finish, please let me know. Let's take two more minutes, please. Let's take two more minutes.
Well, uh, let's go ahead and talk, please. And let's share the activities you did and that you didn't do. And I would like to have volunteers, okay? Open your mic and this time in a set of writing on the chat, I want you to please share your uh, activities like verbally, okay? So who wants to start sharing? Who wants to start um, talking about the activities you did or you didn't do today, okay? Who? There are 16 connected here. Mm -hmm. I did a meeting yesterday. Okay, I know you're texting her, so that's good. Mm -hmm. but then would you mind open your mic and so you can say them like. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Please, thank you so much. That's good, JC. Great. I did, Go ahead. I did my, my homework. Mm -hmm. And I did an exercise in the morning. I did. I did exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, I did lunch. I did the meeting. Mm -hmm. And negative, I didn't the breakfast. And I didn't the, the meeting. I didn't lunch. Mm -hmm. Only that. Okay. Um, good. Quiero mencionarle algo en, ese, en esta construcción de JC. Uh, después del diren, que vaya siempre un verbo. ¿Verdad? Diren. Oh. Ajá. El, y lo otro es en el did, no necesariamente va a ser did. Podría ser I bought, I had, I ate. Los verbos van a ir en pasado. Past. Uh -huh. In past. past. Mm -hmm. Ok. Sí. Good, but yeah, the examples you did are okay, but then you can still say other, you know, verbs without saying did. You can still use did, but you can use other verbs. More, more vocabulary. More vocabulary, exactly, okay. 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 Good, any other volunteer, guys? Good, thank you so much. Any other volunteer, anybody else? Teacher, after did is a verb in past. After didn't, no, after did, no, did ah, uh, after didn't. In negative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly, in negative. Uh, okay, uh, my example is I did I did go to the vet. I, I didn't. did clean my, I did. Mm, nope. No. Nope. Come on. ¿Qué ponemos, qué quiere decir ahí? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. No, what, what do you want to say? Uh, a lo mejor podemos aclarar. Que, uh -huh. okay. como, porque me confundí porque puse como que fui a la veterinaria. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I went. I went, exactly. Solo uh -huh. ponemos el verbo, lo, lo ponemos en este... En, en pasado, no sé, y no le ponemos el did. Y quiero mencionarles algo: acuérdense que el verbo, el auxiliar did, lo usamos en negativo, ¿verdad? Y porque me lo hace, me lo hace en pasado. I didn't go, for example, I see. Pero si quiere decir yo fui, solo sería I went. El verbo, yo solo, ajá, solo en pasado. ¿Lo hace make sense? Okay. Any other example, please? Any other example? Other example? Guys, anybody else? Open your mic, please, and participate. Quiero que aquí pregunten, please, is necessary. Teacher, uh -huh. she did live in Spain last year? She, she didn't live? Is that what you say? Or did? No. Did. She did live in Spain last year. Vaya, este, voy a mencionar algo de que considero que es necesario porque seguramente lo van a escuchar y lo van y lo van a, lo van a, lo van a escuchar o lo van a ver por ahí. El, lo normal, lo normal es decir el verbo en pasado. Por ejemplo, ella vivió en España. She lived in Spain. She lived in Spain. Uh, y el negativo sería she didn't live in Spain. Marvin. No, did you? Do you want to say anything? ¿Quieres decir algo? No, no. Okay, okay. 
Entonces, si en algún momento ustedes usan el did y es en afirmativo, este, se puede utilizar solo cuando vamos a hacer énfasis. Sí, no quiero confundir, por eso no quería mencionar eso, pero para, voy a mencionar dos cosas. Miren, en primer lugar, si vamos a decir, eh, vamos a usar el verbo en afirmativo y es en pasado, el verbo mismo se utiliza en pasado. Por ejemplo, yo no voy a decir, I, I did, para decir, por ejemplo, yo compré, es I bought. I bought. Y yo no compré, I didn't buy. ¿Verdad? Entonces, cuando utilizo el did en afirmativo, eh, sería solo para hacer énfasis en la acción. I did buy that. Como que I did buy that. Pero solo lo voy a utilizar cuando va a hacer énfasis en la acción. Esto no es nada común. Sin embargo, sí se escucha. Lo mismo pasa con el do. El do puede ser utilizado en afirmativo. Do cuando quiera hacer énfasis en la acción. Por ejemplo, me dice Linda a mí, uh, you don't like pupusas. Y yo le digo, I do like pupusas. Es lo mismo. Uh, por ejemplo, you didn't like the food. I did like the food. Entonces, solo uso el did en afirmativo cuando quiero hacer énfasis o reafirmar una acción. Por eso que no es común el did y el verbo, este, el verbo en su forma base. No es común porque lo normal es decir el verbo en pasado, pero de la acción, no el auxiliar. No sé si eso se comprende o es un poco confuso. Guys. Quiero que me pregunten ahorita. Porque solo el auxiliar, did or do, va a ser usado en afirmativo cuando quiero hacer énfasis en la acción. Sin embargo, eso no es muy común. ¿Qué han comprendido o qué, me, o qué logré explicar? Teacher, uh -huh. si yo sé que si quiero decir, pues se ve la mesa, yo podría decir, I booked the, the table. Uh -huh. Solo sería, I booked the table. Exacto, I booked, booked the table. Acuérdese, Marvin, de las terminaciones, ¿verdad? No decimos book, decimos, I booked the table. Ahí I fue, booked the table, ajá. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. So, I want to hear more examples. I want to hear more. I want to hear more, more examples. Anybody else or questions? You want to ask questions? That'll be great. Preguntas? Guys? Preguntas? Questions? Nope. No questions. Ok, then anybody else to share? ¿Alguien más que comparta de sus oraciones? Voy a mandarles unos ejemplos ahorita de lo que acabo de mencionar. Este, permítame. Ok. Vaya, en el chat. Look at this one. Let me see. I'm typing in. Okay. Look at this example. Le acabo de mandar un ejemplo ahí. Um, I did want to tell you, but I didn't know how. Ese ejemplo que acabo de mandar, usé el did en una afirmativa, pero lo estoy usando solo para hacer énfasis en que es como, es como decir, yo sí quería decirte, pero no sabía cómo. Entonces, para decir, yo sí quería decirte, no va a decir, I, yes, wanted to tell you. No, ahí decimos, I did want to tell you, but I didn't know how. Entonces, ese como sí afirmativo es el auxiliar did, que lo vamos a utilizar en ciertas ocasiones, ¿ok? No sé si makes sense or is confusing, guys. Los escucho callados, me, eso me, me asusta porque no sé si es porque está confuso <laughs> o no quieren participar. Un poco confuso. Mira. Uh -huh. 
Vaya, eh, pero eso está bien que lo diga. ¿Alguien más? Voy a mandar uno más. Permítame. Hmm. Vaya, voy a mandar tres ejemplos ahorita. El número uno, number one, uh, lo regular, ¿verdad? Voy a decir I, uh, voy a usar yo I. Uh, vamos a usar un, dígame un verbo, yo sí, un verbo que se le ocurra en acción. Call. I'm sorry. Call. 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 Vaya. El presente es call. call. El pasado es cold. Ese es nuestro verbo de estudio. ¿Ok? Um, ¿Cómo digo yo? Yo le llamé. Yo llamé a Cristina ayer. Yo tendría que decir. I, I called Cristina. Cristina yesterday. ¿Cómo diría yo no le llamé a Cristina ayer? Diría, I, nuestro auxiliar, didn't call. Y el verbo va en su forma base. I didn't call Cristina, Cristina, yesterday. Esto que acabo de escribir y mandar es lo normal. ¿Verdad? Yo llamé a Cristina o yo no llamé a Cristina. I called Cristina yesterday o I didn't call Cristina. Eso es lo normal. Ahora, lo que sabemos es que el auxiliar se utiliza para, para, este, afirma, para negativos y para preguntas. Si lo quiero utilizar en, en afirmativas, es solo cuando quiero hacer énfasis en la acción. Si lo estoy usando para todo, voy a hacer un solo, una sola confusión. ¿Cómo utilizaría ese, el DIR en afirmativo? Imaginémonos de que, de que JC me dice... No, pero usted no le llamó a Cristina. Y yo le digo, I did call Cristina. Ahí lo utilizo para reasegurar algo. I did call Cristina. Chris, Cristina yesterday. Acabo de decir, I did call Cristina yesterday. Pero porque ahí sí me está diciendo que no le había llamado. Y yo sabía que sí. Ahí sí lo utilizo. I did call Cristina. Pero ese es el did en afirmativo para hacer énfasis. Solo como una confirmación. Ajá, como una reafirmación, como confirmación de la acción. Pero no es lo común eh, pensar que voy a ponerle did a todos los verbos en presente y ya están en pasado. Sería un error. El, lo, lo común es el verbo en pasado para dar en pasado, en afirmativo. Le, le quiero que con sus reacciones... Me pongan en ese momento un thumbs up los que están confundidos. Así, un thumbs up. Y no hay problema. Está bien hacer eso. Rubén. Ok. ¿Alguien más aparte de Rubén? Teacher. Daniel también está confundido. Raquel está confundido. Ok. Teacher. Uh -huh. Sí. Yo hice algunas, pero no sé si, si, si he entendido así. Uh -huh. Quiero... Te leo. Uh -huh. Vaya. She did call your boss. He did play soccer. Uh -huh. I did shoot those short shoes. They uh -huh. did eat pizza. Uh -huh. Vaya, todas esas, esas que acabo de mencionar, Cristina, estarían bien si las vamos a utilizar en un contexto de confirmar o asegurar o hacer énfasis en la acción. Ajá, y están las otras que, que tengo tres. Uh -huh. He didn't buy the computer. Uh -huh. He didn't send the report. Uh -huh. We didn't bear, bear the cook deliver. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Vaya, esas son las negativas, ¿verdad? Que para uh -huh. las negativas usamos el didn't. El didn't uh -huh. Y está bien, ¿verdad? Usamos el didn't. Entonces, para, la, para las afirmativas, el verbo no va en, este, va en pasado. That's it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Voy a hacer un ejercicio. Rafa, el que me ha mandado estaría incorrecto porque le ha puesto el played, le ha puesto en pasado y solo es play. Voy a hacer un ejercicio. Voy a escribir eh, cinco, no mucho. Voy a escribir nada más dos verbos aquí y me los van a usar ustedes primero. Yo lo voy guiando. Me van a dar porque veo que hay varios que están confundidos y está bien. 
Vaya, primero el verbo que le voy a brindar es el verbo um, vaya, escribir. Write. Todos me mandan en este momento una oración en pasado. Afirmativa. Escribir. ¿Cómo diríamos? Eh, yo escribí o ella escribió eh, un poema, una canción, lo que sea. Nosotros escribimos. Mándemela. Quiero ver. I wrote a letter. Y dale, muy bien. Yo escribí una canción. Una, una carta. What else? I wrote an email. Bien, an email. Good. Escribí. I wrote a singer. Study sing. A song nada más sería. I, Daniel eh, written no. El pasado es wrote. Ahí lo mandaron. Este verbo es irregular. Irregular. No le ponemos. Es, no es un verbo regular. El verbo regular es que le ponemos ed. En caso de write es un verbo irregular porque decimos wrote. I wrote a report. Rot, rot, rot. Muy bien. Eh, los que no han mandado es porque no, Rubén ya mandó el suyo. Los que que estaban confundidos. Rubén, sí. I wrote a story yesterday. Está bien, Rubén. Excelente. I wrote a letter to the teacher. Ok, good. She wrote the registration letter. Muy bien. Ahí estamos. Past. Ahí está. Past. All, everything is in the past. Ahí significa ella escribió, yo escribí, eh, nosotros escribimos. Okay. Ahora me mandan una negativa. Ahora quiero que me digan, no, yo no escribí o ya no escribió la canción, la letra, todo eso. ¿Vas a ver? Vamos. Exacto. De repente escucho mi, ma, mi voz en, el, en eco. Ahí tenemos la de Cristina. I, I didn't write a letter. Muy bien. I didn't write an email. I didn't write a report. Esa es la estructura. She did not write the resignation letter. Muy bien. Ya se quiere ir de la compañía. Ok. What else? Um, I didn't write a story. Lo veo muy bien. I, excuse me, teacher. I want to ask if, if the, the sentence that I wrote eh, are okay. Ajá. Ya vamos a, la voy a copiar. I understand el... uh, your what you explain. Uh -huh. What did you Ajá. explain? What I explain. Okay, good. Daniel, eh, ese el verbo no le ponemos de, solo es I didn't write. Okay, como pueden ver, la mayoría me ha mandado ya su oración negativa, el auxiliar didn't y luego le ponemos el el este el verbo en su forma base. Aquí no lo ponemos en pasado. ¿Ok? Así como lo han mandado, muy bien. Primero afirmativo, eh, sujeto, verbo en pasado. Así. Si yo quiero decir yo como pupusas, I eat pupusas. Pero si quiero decir yo comí, I ate pupusas. Yo no comí, I didn't eat. Esa es la forma. Ahora, este, lo que expliqué hace un rato es porque vi que algunos me estaban, estaban escribiendo dir y solo di, no querían salirse de eso. Y es bien común encontrarse que de repente usamos did y ya queremos que el verbo esté en pasado. No es así. Ok, el did solamente es un auxiliar. Y lo que estuve explicando, perdón, es cómo utilizamos did en caso sea necesario hacer una, un énfasis. Y voy a pegar el ejemplo que nos mandó Idalia. Exactamente. La verdad que un ejemplo muy bien completo y lo acabo de volver a mandar yo. Did you listen to the audio? I did. Did you? Como así como queriendo confirmar, did you? Yes, I did listen to the audio. Ese ejemplo está bien completo porque ahí ella ha usado did antes de listen y este es porque está, yeah, I did. Believe me, I did it. I did it. Ok. Um, por ejemplo, um, cuando alguien no está convencido de algo. Pensemos en un escenario de que se hizo o no la acción. Eh, a ver, digamos de que no creemos que la selecta ganó y que ganó. Vale. Y Daniel me dice, uh, la selecta ganó. Yo le digo, no, yo no creo que haya ganado. Y él me dice, no, sí, sí ganó. Entonces me va a decir, yes, uh, the national soccer team did win the match. Ahí me va a utilizar ese did justamente antes de la acción para 
make the emphasis. Solo ahí. Si ustedes se sienten confusos que estamos metiendo el did en, en, las, en las afirmativas, olvidémonos que lo vamos a hacer así. Digamos. Entonces, no. Entonces, did no entra en este momento en las afirmativas y ahí le quedamos. Solo a menos, a menos que vaya como verbo. Por ejemplo, hice mi tarea. I did the homework. Ahí va como verbo. ¿Sí? Vaya, este, los que me levantaron la mano que estaban confundidos eran como cinco. Eh, se quiero que me escriban en, en el chat un ejemplo como did, haciendo énfasis o, o, o haciendo o confirmando algo. Pero que me den contexto, como el caso de, de que me mandó este, Idalia. O si no, manden la oración, pero denme el contexto donde la van a utilizar. Les doy uh, cinco minutos, five minutes. Me interesa muchísimo esta parte. Think about it, pensemos. Teacher, ¿y se puede utilizar para como reafirmar algo que no hice? Pero ahí sí ya sería en, en negativo. Entonces, este ya no, ya no es necesario porque... Ah, ok. Ajá, I didn't. Yes, I didn't. I didn't. Ok, ok. okay. Envié uno que ya no. What's your opinion? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see what you have sent. I see what you have sent. Did you search the box? Esa es una, esa es una, este, es una oración, una pregunta, Daniel, cerrada. Y la respuesta que usted dio es una respuesta corta. Eso es normal. Eso, ahí el did no se está usando para, para hacer énfasis en nada. Solo es una respuesta corta. Por ejemplo, did you watch the soccer game yesterday? Yes, I did. Es una respuesta, una pregunta con respuesta corta. Ahí eso es, lo, eso es una, una oración normal. Ahí no estamos usando el did para afirmar. Porque cuando usamos el did para afirmar es porque después del did viene la acción que vamos a, vamos a, vamos a confirmar o vamos a hacer énfasis. Tendría que ser una oración completa. Ok. Y los que entendieron el afirmativo que había un par también, si pueden mandarnos un ejemplo, sería de gran ayuda. Please. Teacher, y para confirmar, eh, puedo poner yes. Yes, I did. Si la pregunta es cerrada, sí, sí, por supuesto. Es que la pregunta cerrada simplemente con yes, I did o no, I didn't, estamos respondiendo a la, a, la, a, la, a, la, a la pregunta, pero solo es para responder a una pregunta cerrada. Pero si ya se sale del contexto como que no, usted no hizo eso, y usted, yo, usted, yo sí, sí, yo sí lo hice, I did it, but uh, I did play, you know, I did watch the soccer, ahí vamos a usarlo. Ok. Ajá. Did you boil the beans? Yes, I did. Did you? Yes, I did boil the beans, exacto. Su esposo le dice a Linda, usted no hizo, no sé cómo le trató, no, no, viste los frijoles. 
uh, los herbistes, uh, sí los herbistes estoy diciendo, como yes I did, I did boil, ese es el contexto, yes. You went to work yesterday, ajá, ya sí. I went to work yesterday. Va, yo, le, yo le voy a decir, sí, usemos ese, sí, me va a ayudar usted ahorita. Dígame, I went to work yesterday. I went to work yesterday. You didn't. You didn't go. You didn't. Ahí usted me... Te... Va, va, mire, vamos a, vamos a hacer ese ejemplo para... Oh, oh, but, uh, I repeat, repeat, okay, 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 Está please. bien, vaya. JC me dice, yo fui a trabajar ayer. Yo le digo, no, usted no fue a decirle. Usted me dice, yo sí fui a trabajar, me va a decir ahora. Ahora, voy. Dígame otra vez eh, su oración. I went to work yesterday. Sí, sí, you didn't go, I didn't see you. I did go yesterday, I, I did go Exacto. work yesterday. Exactamente, ahí, ahí, es, ese es el escenario. I did, I did go, you didn't work see me. Work yesterday. Uh -huh. To work yesterday, exacto. Yes, I did send the report in the morning. Está, está bien, Marvin, lo único es que el contexto, ¿verdad? el contexto. Este, no sé qué preguntas pueden tener. Entonces, la tarea va en la, en la siguiente línea. Investigar un poquito más. Yo también le voy a traer más oraciones de cómo usamos el auxiliar did para hacer énfasis. Ese sería el, 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 el tema. Auxil, porque también podemos en los, en los auxiliares, el do y el did se utilizan to make emphasis. Y eso es lo que estamos hablando. To make emphasis on an action. ¿okay? Reafirmar. Aparte de reafirmar, como verdad, es el punto. Did you listen to English class? Yes, I did. Esa es una pregunta con una pregunta cerrada. Marlene, what's your, what's your contribution? I haven't seen anything from you. No he visto nada. Cristina, are you okay? Me van a este, um, I don't know. Uh, what yes, question? Teacher. You're okay. Uh, Narciso, Harrison, Rafa, Rafa, Rafa's been very quiet. Rafa doesn't want to say anything. To teacher, me. teacher, teacher. Uh huh. Vamos a ver si funciona esta. I ran five kilometers yesterday. In affirmation, affirmation uh, I did run five kilometers yesterday. Vaya, la, la estructura está bien, Rafa. Y lo que se ha dicho también está bien. Este es lo único que la segunda oración que estamos diciendo que si cumple con lo, 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 la estructura, este, necesita más contexto. Porque vaya, usted me dice, yo corrí ayer no sé cuántos kilómetros. Y la I otra ran me... five kilómetros yesterday. Yo le voy a decir ahorita, no, Rafa, you didn't, you didn't run five kilómetros yesterday. No, you didn't. Usted ahí me dice, I did run. Y usted ahí, ahí, run. ahí sí. Usted ya uh, viene a, 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 a contra... No sé. Afirmar, afirmar. afirmar, afirmar. Ajá, su postura previa. Ahí, ¿verdad? Ahí, por eso de que esto del dir, si lo usamos en afirmativo, va a ser para énfasis. Yo no sé si le he dado vuelta demasiado, pero es bien sencillo. El did más una acción, este, la hace con énfasis. Así. El did más un verbo makes énfasis. Porque lo, lo, lo general o lo, es que el did eh, vaya solo en preguntas y en, en negativos. En preguntas ya lo manejamos, did you, did she, y en negativos que decimos didn't, y el verbo. Pero en la afirmación es donde le estamos poniendo, está, esa es la discusión. Eso es, that is the, what we're talking about. Uh -huh. Uh, José, 
says, didn't you read the book yesterday? Didn't you read the book yesterday? No leí, no leí, no leí el libro ayer. I did. <laughs> or I didn't. Es que se usa nada más a una pregunta cerrada en forma negativa. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, any questions? Any other question? Siento frustración. I feel confusion. Okay. Um, don't um, don't keep your questions, please. Ask. Don't keep them. Let's talk about the next the next uh, page. We have this uh, past of be and simple past. Ya hablamos del past. Uh, wasn't, weren't, wasn't, weren't, and weren't. Luego simple past tenemos lo didn't. En este caso estamos hablando de negatives. El uso del negatives, negatives. El negative va el didn't y el verbo en su forma base. Didn't y su verbo en forma base. Mandatory. Ok. Um, tomémonos un par de, de minutos y completemos las siguientes este, oraciones. Todas tienen que estar en negative. Ok. Vamos a hacerlas en negative. Let me see. Number one, I am satisfied with my laptop. ¿Cómo diríamos lo negativo de esta oración? Marta writes a letter to her boss. ¿Cómo lo hacemos negativo? Por supuesto que lo vamos a hacer en past. Tomémonos unos cinco minutos y escribámoslas y luego me las comparten. Please. Five minutes. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta de lo que vamos a hacer? Any questions about what we're going to do? No? Ok. Five minutes. Teacher, I have a question. In the in the in the um in the sentence in the sentence number four uh -huh. says Pedro and me. Uh -huh. It's okay. It's very no, informal. No, uh -huh. Pedro and I. Uh, this is how I'm going to answer this. If you were taking Idalia a standard test. If you say me, that is incorrect. If you're taking like at the TOEIC or the TOEFL, que son los exámenes estandarizados, eso está incorrecto, porque eso es informal. Grammatically speaking, gramaticalmente hablando, is incorrect. But we can say it, pero se puede decir. Informally, you can, you can say it. 
le preguntaba por qué usted hizo esa corrección uh -huh, en la uh -huh. clase hoy. Uh -huh, exactly, uh -huh. exactly. Ah, ok. Gramaticalmente, no se debería decir, pero en el mundo coloquial, eso se dice. You and, you and me, decimos, you and I, decimos, you and I, you and me, ah, yo sabía, yo sabía. Ah. Okay. <risa> Pero es que como usted y yo Gracias. estamos aprendiendo, así, académicamente, ¿no? entonces acostumbramos a decir you and I. <risa> Actually, un gringo va a decir you and, you and, los dos usan, you and me, you and I. Pero un examen estandarizado, ponen me y ya subo malo, así, literally, le saldría malo. Este, pero infor, informally o okay. informal English, yes. Sí, por eso este, yo recomiendo siempre quedarme con I. Yo sé que se usa a mí, siempre se, se puede utilizar. But it's not correct. It's not um, grammatically correct. Uh -huh. Ok. Le right. yes. preguntaba por qué creí que el libro tenía como gramática correcta o, o como, <ríe> no sé. <ríe> Pero es como no. más lo popular, ¿no? Uh, yeah, actually, yes, because I have seen other things here that uh -huh. it's um, more like um, daily and also English for work. And then, yeah, you and me try. Uh -huh. Porque okay, a mí es más como, un, clara, más, ¿no? más como un objeto directo que como una, un sujeto. De hecho, a mí lo hemos asociado como objeto oh. directo, no como subject. Y aquí está siendo utilizado como subject porque es y Pedro en I. No es Pedro en mí. Me received the action, pero que okay, that makes sense. But however, still use it. De repente van okay. a escuchar personas diciendo, por ejemplo, yo le he escuchado uh, diciendo uh, uh, que... Cuando hablamos de la tercera persona, de repente hay personas que dicen she have, yes, yeah, she has, o, o she don't want that, en vez de decir she doesn't want. O sea, el inglés viene siendo como informal y la, la idea se comunica, pero eh, un americano o una persona nativa no diría eso, pero muchas personas o inglés así como un poquito informal y se escucha en las canciones una desconfiguración del inglés que le hacen si la escuchan a veces usando el don con el con tercera persona por ejemplo es bien común aún más este voy a decir desconfigurado no gramaticalmente usando el ain't que es una una forma este informal de, de decir contractado el verbo to be en su forma negativa entonces eso sucede verdad lo mismo pasa en todos los idiomas. Nuestro idioma de repente hablamos así, ¿verdad? Un poco informal. Y eso suele suceder bastante. Así que, it's not something like strange because it, because it happens. Guys, let's work on this. Let's share the uh, sentences. We have number one. What do you have for number one? What do you have for number one? I wasn't, I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Correct. I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. That's, that's the answer. What about number two? Any other volunteer? Marta? Marta didn't write a letter to the her boss. Okay. Marta didn't write a letter to her boss. Exactly. Thank you so much. And number three. Who has the answer? Number three. We didn't so happy with the food service. Mm -hmm. Then what is missing or what is incorrect, Christina? We? We didn't. Hmm. Let me share. Hi, teacher. Okay. Uh, we were not happy with the food service. Mm hmm Exactly. So we say um, the pass of the verb be for are is where. ¿verdad? Entonces tendríamos que decir, ¿cómo sería Rubén? Perdón, Diego. Yes. We, we were not. Ajá. We, we, were, were, not, we, were, we were not. We weren't. We weren't. We weren't so, exactly. We weren't so happy. Okay. Yes. yes. What about number four? Any other volunteer? Number four?
Pedro and me didn't write to the company. Mm -hmm. Pedro and me didn't write to the company. Yes, what about number five? Number five. The principal didn't send many emails. Correct. The principal didn't send many emails. Okay, number six. Program was too slow. The program wasn't too slow. Good. Yes, correct. Correct. That's what it is, guys. Thank you so much. Anybody uh, who might have any question in regards of these sentences? Questions? Questions? No? Okay, we only have like uh, maybe some like eight minutes or less to start working on this activity. We might not be able to finish this activity, but I mean, we can finish the conversation or the dialogue here, but we are not going to present it today. We are going to do it until Monday. So please, uh, let's start working on this activity. We have A and we have B. So we have these two roles. Um, so if you are letter A, you are at a, at a, company's, a company's agent and are calling call all customer to check that everything was explained or provided to them. So this is the role of A. And then uh, the role of B is you are the customer. Uh, so you tell the agent how your level of satisfaction is and everything uh, they didn't do. So we have these two roles. Tenemos dos roles, los que estarían desempeñando. This is a role play que van a hacer. A empezarlo a trabajar. I'm going to give you uh, due to time, I'm going to give you like five or seven minutes to, to have a, a full picture of what you're going to work on next, uh, this coming Monday. Uh, so do you have questions about this? We have some structures here. Good morning. I am from X company. Am I speaking to and you ask for somebody? Good morning. Yes, uh, she's speaking or... Uh, and then the reason of this call is to know the level of satisfaction that you have with the last product you bought with us. Aquí vamos a pensar si la estructura se adapta a lo que queremos comunicar o cómo la vamos a, a adaptar de acuerdo al rol que se le está brindando a cada uno de ustedes. Um, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta, guys. We don't have much time. I don't want to... Uh, como dejarlo iniciado, me gustaría preguntar mejor qué preguntas tienen, valga la redundancia, sobre el tema. Y creo que hablamos de esta conversación el lunes. Solo tenemos como unos cinco minutos nada más. Así que vamos a dejar la, la conversación para el lunes. Me gustaría más bien que me preguntaran o que comentaran qué dudas tienen del tema y... Y también aprovechar para mencionar la importancia de completar las actividades día a día. O en la del viernes, ahora. No la dejen para mañana, que después fin de semana se, se pasa volando y se nos acumula hasta el lunes. Bueno, les escucho. I listened. Questions. I just want to do a comment. Mm -hmm. um, for me, it's new um, the expression or the grammar about the um, um, cuando queremos reafirmar algo. Mm -hmm. uh, the grammar is new for me. I I haven't um, listened uh, that. But uh, I learned to use it now. Nice. Nice to hear it. I want to hear you using it. Okay. So whenever you have the opportunity, just do it. Don't be uh, afraid of use it because that's the way it is. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Any, anything else? Thank you for your comments. Anything else? 
Alguien más? Ok. Let me, let me then check the attendance. Voy a tomar la asistencia. Uh, solo tenemos un par de segundos más. Well, okay. Here we go. So number one on the list, and this is, give me a second, please, that my page is loading. Let's see. One second. Hold on. Okay. Angel Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you. Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you. Elsie. Gabriela. No. Herson. Present. Thank you. Jose Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Rubén. Present teacher. JC. Present. Thank you. Linda. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Maria Idalia. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Julia. Present teacher. Thank you. Marlene. Present. Thank you. Marvin. Present teacher. Thank you. Norma. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael. Rafa. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Judith. Present teacher. Okay, Ray. Xiomara. And Judy. No? Okay, so thank you so much then guys for, for your attendance. Any questions? Una vez más, este, porfa, completen las actividades para que no se acumulen para el para la otra semana, eh, ya estamos prácticamente en la tercera semana, imagínense, y pues el tiempo, hagan los listening, si se les ha acumulado, pues dejen un tiempo, yo sé que están saturados, para completarlos, y si alguien puede comprar un cuadernito para ir haciendo los, el vocabulario aparte, eso es, eso es tan vital, tan esencial, que vayan sacando su vocabulario aparte, quieren tener más vocabulario para usarlo, Primero hay que prenderlo y luego pues hay que utilizarlo sin miedo. Creen oraciones con ese vocabulario eh, para que sepan cómo utilizarlo. ¿verdad? That's essential. Así que bueno, de mi parte, it's been a pleasure. And, um, faltan todavía uno o dos minutos, pero I think it's fine. Uh, solo me quedo con la persona de la sesión. Y los demás pues, have a nice rest of the day and enjoy your weekend. Okay. Bye bye. 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 Hello, Gabriela. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Gabriela. Gabriela, can you listen to me?
Hello, Cristina. Can you listen to me, Cristina? Cristina? Gabriela, I'm sorry, Gabriela. Hello, hello, Gabriela. Hello? Gabriela? 